Hey there you guys, Cheesy Frito here and uh welcome back to the Deck Tex and also my return to YouTube. Um as you could tell, I've been gone for a while. Um or if you're just some person browsing on the web, you're probably just here for the Deck Tex, so I'll get to that here in a second. But uh um expect to see a lot more videos guys, and especially magic videos, because uh I've been into magic, very, very into magic, like almost professionally, almost. And uh so well, technically professionally, so yes. Um, I'm going to be doing a deck tech for one of the decks I am going to be playtesting here soon. So well, let's just go ahead and get to it. This is one a uh, recommended deck from the Esperago list. The Esperago comments from that deck tech. If you want to go check that out, go ahead. It's sort of an outdated video, but it's my most viewed. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. This is mono green. Not mono green elves, but just mono green. So... First up, we've got the lands. Obviously, it's mono green, so we've just got a bunch of lands here. But uh, just to give you guys an amount, we have 22 forests. Let's put a forest right there where you guys can see them. Next will be our one drops. In total, we have seven one drops. First up, we have Open Wall Tracker. Uh, this guy's basically our removal, because green doesn't have removal. It this plummet, and that's pretty much it. And their removal is just bigger creatures. So this guy takes our big creatures and attacks them with them. So, uh, we got two of him. And our next card, well, technically our next five, so I'll go ahead and lay, lay him down there. Our Elvish Mystic and Arbor Elf. Now, Elvish Mystic and Arbor Elf are basically the same thing in a mono green deck. These guys add green, they're basically land worlds, and these guys untap forests. So in our deck, they have the same purpose. Just mana dorks that help us get mana very fast. Now we're on to our two drops. I believe we have a big amount of these. Let's see here, we've got nine two drops. we got a pretty good amount of them. Let's go ahead and start out with uh, Gyre Sage here. Uh, Gyre Sage is a very fast ramping creature. Sadly, she cannot add green the second she comes out, but... Usually on third turn, we can start dropping a ton of creatures out. Uh, she may not evolve from them, but uh, she'll get pretty big pretty fast. And if we don't add her for mana, we could use a uh, spell we'll see uh, later in here just to make her huge and swing out, or make her huge and just tap for a bunch of mana. I'll show that combo here. And uh, we've got three of her, three Jara Sages. She's a rare from Gate Crash, in case any of you are wondering. Alright, uh, next up we have three copies of Scavenging News. This is the foil promo. Um, this guy is really nice if they can end up killing our creatures or if we end up killing theirs. He gains us life and puts us back in the top of the game and he gets huge very fast. So yeah, we're running three of him for very, very heavy aggro person purposes. Next up we have Colonian Tusker. Oh, uh, we got three of this guy. Yeah, we got three of this guy. Um, he's two for a three three. Well, what can I say? Very cheap card. Uh, very efficient card. I'm thinking about replacing this guy with Stringer Root guy soon, but we'll see how he does in playtesting. Alright, so that is our two drops, and now we're on to the three drops. I don't think we got as many of these. Um, we have eight, so close enough. Um, we have one Witch Stalker. Yeah, just the lonely one. Uh, he's very nice from M14, so he's a newer card. I'll read him out to you. Um, three for three, three Hexproof. Um, whenever they cast a blue or black spell during our turn, he gets bigger. So, uh, we really, really need this guy, just in case they start to Doomblade some stuff, and this guy can get big. But we're only running one copy, so, because we don't need him too much, but he is very, very efficient. So we got one copy of him. I'm thinking about adding more. I just need more. Right, next up, we've got Predators. We have, yeah, three of this guy. Um... He is very, very nice. Um, if anything, he can block and just kill a bunch of stuff. But he really wants to be attacking. As you can see, he gets bigger for each attack. Not for combat damage, but just for attack. And then if he can kill something, because he's indestructible, um, he gets even better. So yeah, we got three of him. And next up we have Champion of Lamholt. We have a playset. Um, she gets bigger for every creature, which is very, very nice in a ramp deck. A very fast ramp deck. And it makes it where their things can't block. And if they can't trump block, then this deck just is a powerhouse. It just stomps right through them. So she is very, very nice in the deck. I'm thinking about taking one of her out for Witch Stalker, but I'm not sure yet. 
I have to play test with Witch Stalker first. Right, next up, we have five four drops. Um, we have Increasing Savagery. This is the Gyrosage combo. Put five counters on her and uh, tap her for like five or six mana. Pretty nice. Um, and his flashback gets them ten, so that's very, very efficient as well. This guy wins you the game. He makes your Predator Ooze huge. He makes everything huge. He makes everything a big deal, even if it's just a little Colonial Tusker. We've got three of these guys because they're pretty, they're pretty big deal. I was thinking about running four, but I'm not sure what I'd take out for the fourth. Alright, next up, we are running two Yeva Nature's Herald. Whoops, uh, my camera dropped there. Let me just raise that up a bit. Alright, put up supports. I'm using a uh, deck builder's toolkit as the support because of my what I usually use to hold this up. Um, I'm, one of my friends are using it, so. Alright, back to Yeva. Uh, Yeva Nature's Herald, um, 4 4 Flash. To me, she is. Um, a restoration angel for green. She's very, very nice. Since laying her down, turn uh, three and flashing a Thrag Tusk uh, at the end of their turn. So she's really good. That's why we're running two of her. And she's nice. Four, 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 four. That's always good. Alright, we have a lot of five drops. Let's see here. Yes, seven five drops. First up we have Thrag Tusk, the essential green creature in every single green deck. 5-3, um, gain 5 life, get a 3-3 three, three when he leaves, what can I say? This guy's a powerhouse, he's one of the best cards in standard right now. That's why he's, he's I think he's like 15 bucks right now. He may have gone down because of rotation, but um, yeah. So we're going to run 3 of this guy, we don't want to run 4. We're not going to run 4, for other reasons. We want to run more aggressive creatures. This guy just keeps us up, then he becomes aggressive after that. Alright, let's get camera adjusted there. Right next up we have Vorapede. Vorapede is an insanely nice card because he has Vigilance, lets us block things, Trample, lets us trample over their little trap blockers, and Undying, which while they're swimming around in their fishbowl and they're just like, <gasps> we can make this guy come back if they can somehow find a, you know, a solution to this guy. We've got uh, two of him. And last five drop, we have Wolfier Silverheart. Uh, we're running two of this guy. Um, this guy makes everything, even a little uh, elf, a giant 5-5, five five, and he's an 8-8. Eight eight. I see this guy as an 8-8 eight eight for 5, and whatever you want gets a titanic growth. Very, very nice card. Probably one of the better cards in here. Alright, and our last two cards, uh, one's a 7 drop, one's an 8 drop. I'll just view them together. Uh, first, we have Elder Scale Worm. Um, this guy is straightforward and simple. He's Platinum Angel. He says you can't lose and they can't win. This guy is just your life total. is always seven. There's seven sevens there if you can't see that. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sevens. Or if you want to be all technical, that's a seven seven, but that's not a seven, that's a four. Um, this guy's a good powerhouse. We can ramp up to him pretty quickly. I'd, I'd imagine getting him out turn four or five. So he's pretty nice. Got a copy of him in there. And our last card, can anyone guess what it is? Eight drop. Crater Hoof himself. Um he's he's pretty awesome. I mean Crater Hoof is a legend in green. He is insane. If he hits the board, he is going to dominate. By himself, he's nothing. He's a 6-6 six, six with Trample and Haste. But when you have Elves out and Champions of Lamholt, this guy just says, I win the game. That's what, that's what I should say. It should be a winning the game behemoth. Alright, well, there you have it. This is a uh, Mono Green. I'm going to put the deck list down in the description below so you guys can build this deck yourselves. And uh, you guys don't have to, after you watch the video, go back through the video and add the cards. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, comment in the comment in the comment section uh, below to tell me what deck you would like to see next time. And um, it could be modern. I would really like standard decks, but modern's okay. I can build some modern decks, usually for fun modern decks. Like, uh, I have a Grixis modern deck. It's pretty nice. Um, so, yeah, there you have it, the uh, full 60-card mono green deck in mono green sleeves. 
Alright guys, so that's all I have for right now. Um, expect more deck tech videos very, very soon. We may have more than one deck tech. Well, I think I can pretty much guarantee more than one deck tech video today. So, I will look forward to making our next deck tech video and the playtesting of this deck, which could soon come after this video. Alright, see you guys later.